just wanted to show you how I actually spray the foliage of my leaves because some people really, you know, they're scared. And I was scared at first too. And that's okay. You know, you want to use this on the lighter side. If you're really scared to use this or you think you have a really sensitive plant that might not stand the oil, you know, go with a quarter teaspoon. I usually do a half a teaspoon in a 24 ounce bottle, but I'm going to do a quarter teaspoon in a 24 ounce bottle just to show you that's okay. This product actually goes a long way. So, you know, the little the better. Um, take a quarter teaspoon, like I said, 24 ounce sprayer, really easy. Oops. Now be careful when you're pouring this because sometimes it does come out a lot and you know, you don't want this all over the place. Just take it in there, get it in there. Now I use dish soap and the reason why I use Dawn is just because it's a preference. I like it. Um, just use a couple of drops. You don't want your water turning blue at all. I've done it. Um, you know, take a couple of drops. One, two, that's fine. Now make sure you mix this up really good. Um, reason being is because it is an oil-based product. So it will, you know, it will take a while to incorporate with each other. And that's why I use this dish soap because it really helps to mix those two together. Just give it a really, really good shake. Make sure this is closed so you don't spray yourself in the face like I just did. Like I said, it's safe for you, safe for your pets, so I love this. And just get in there, give them a good spray. Don't be scared to give the leaves a good coat with it. Top, bottom, you know, hit the soil even. You can even hit that soil. I mean, just get in there. With something diluted this much, um, you know, you really don't have to worry about the burning unless it's in direct light. Like I said, keep it out of the direct sunlight. Um, that is so, so important when spraying this. I find at night is the best, best time to do it. Um, by the morning, that dew is off of them leaves, so, you know, you really don't have any chance of burning then. Now, these will stay inside for right now just because, you know, they're freshly sprayed and I don't want them outside and getting any chance of that sunlight. Um, you know, don't spray this inside. Spray it in your, your lanai like I'm doing or outside where there's good ventilation because it is pretty strong. Um, but the bugs really don't like it. Uh, and it works for soft-bodied insects, hard-bodied insects, caterpillars. Um, really anything that's trying to take over your garden. It's so hot and humid this time of year. They're just trying to get in and, you know, lay their eggs in there, and we don't want that. So I use this as a preventative as well. Um, now, when I use it as a preventative, I usually don't spray the foliage. I only spray the foliage when I start seeing them little buggies on there. So as a preventative, once a week is fine. Do your two tablespoons and your one gallon of water. Um, you know, mix it up really good with the dish soap and you'll be fine. Now, in a gallon of water, I usually put about a quarter teaspoon of dish soap. I mean, put a quarter teaspoon of this in there. That's fine. Dish soap is not going to hurt your plant unless your water is so blue, you know, then you know you're really overdoing it. But this is a natural anti-pesticide as well in itself, so it's really great. I love it. Um, this is the neem oil, just so you can get a closer look at it. I love it. All my plants are healthy. I don't see any bugs, any caterpillars. They just hightail it on out of there once they get a taste of this stuff. It's so bitter to them. So have fun planting. Until next time, bye-bye.